Good day, folks. It's uh, Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. I've done a series of videos talking about this IPsec tunnel between two sites and trying to figure out the MTU and all that good stuff. Now we're at the point where I want to change the MTU on a Windows machine. Now this particular machine is uh, Windows 11, but this commands all these commands work on Windows 10 as well. So what we need to do is a couple of PowerShell commands. So the first thing is go to the command prompt as the administrator or um, as an elevated command prompt, as some people like to say. And we're gonna just type PowerShell. There you go. So from PowerShell, we're gonna, I'm gonna put all these in the article so you can just copy and paste them as well. So NetSH interface IPv4, show your sub interfaces. And there's my ethernet two and my Wi-Fi. Now, it's obvious which ones you're using. So I am using my Wi-Fi right there because you see all the bytes in and out. And the other ones have zero, just if you had to figure it out. So good. So from there, um, this is the tricky part. You have to make up your mind if you want this change to be permanent or temporary. Oops, uh, what I just did there. There you go. So the command is quite simple. It's NetSH. Interface IPv4 set sub interface Ethernet 2, because that's what that is. If you want to do Ethernet 2, I'm actually going to do Wi Fi. Change my mind. I'm going to do Wi Fi 2. There you go. MTU 2. MTU 1400. Now, the, here's the tricky part. If you wanted this to be uh, permanent, you would add store equals persistent. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna make this kind of a temporary change. So if I was ever to reboot my machine, it would fall back to 1500. So if things go horribly wrong, I just reboot my laptop and I'm good to go. So there it is, it says okay. So now if I was to redo that previous command, we will now see that Wi-Fi is 1400. I'm good to go. So now it's actually a, a very simple exercise of just starting up Wireshark uh, connecting to something and just looking at my uh, TCP three-way handshake. So we'll do that right now. Here, I'll bring this over here. This window is going to be a little scrunched in, but that's fine. So there's my Wi-Fi. Click, click. I'm going to open up a new tab on my machine. It doesn't matter where it goes. It really doesn't. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to do a find packet, and I'm looking for SYN in the string of the detail. Actually, packet list will work. Find, there it is. So if I just right click on any one of these, I can just do a conversation filter for TCP and there they all are. So since in act. So what I wanna do is just scroll over and I wanna see what my MSS is. So I did 1400, but then obviously there's 40 bytes for TCP headers. So it's down to 1360. So that's 100% correct and it worked. Just want to make sure it works before I stick my neck out and try some more testing. So now I'm going to go retest and see how my iPerf works out. There you go, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.